I thought what I could create was a pure place of positive thinking, untainted by being critical in the everyday sense, but being usefully critical in the academic sense, and wielding criticality whilst making any sense whatsoever at all. Put your hand on your heart. Put your hand on your heart. And just ask yourself internally. And just ask yourself internally. What kind of world do I want to live in? What kind of world do I want to live in? And listen. And listen. Do it now. Do it now. And now ask yourself. And now ask yourself. How can I make that happen? 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 From a place of love, from a place of love, compassion, compassion, joy, joy, and equanimity, and equanimity. Simple anger, simple anger will only perpetuate what already is out there. Will only perpetuate what already is. It was created by greed. It was created by greed and fear. And fear. We have to go beyond that. We have to go beyond that and come from a place of compassion. And come from a place of compassion. Centered equanimity. Centered equanimity and creativity. And creativity. Once again. Once again. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. How can I be the change? How can I be the change that I want to see in the world? That I want to see in the world. Thank you. Thank you. We know what we do not want. We know what we do not want. But what do we want? But what do we want? What social organization can replace capitalism? What social organization can replace capitalism? What type of new leaders do we want? What, what type of new leaders do we want? Remember, remember, the problem is not corruption or greed. The problem is not corruption or greed. The problem is the system. The problem is the system. We don't push you to be corrupt. That we force you to be corrupt. Common sense agreement feels to me like is really a possible way forward and rather than focus on the past or who's to blame for what went wrong or scapegoating, I want to see if I can create a discourse, a narrative that allows a way forward, a step forward, a move forward, another way of thinking, and a, a, an extra prong to the fork as a couple of the people said on my interviews at the strike about Anonymous that um, a lot of people hadn't heard of them and some people said yeah well that's just another way of protesting like the Occupy movement uh, or being out on the street with placards it's another way it's another prong and so this is another possibility another way of doing it so this is Doug Lion Lionheart Dragon Lionheart talking from my heart not knowing where I'm going with this or what's going to happen as yet we shall see agenda is the uh, creation of a level playing field so that I grew up very very working class and I just I hope that the system changes towards inclusion and that's it and that's what I love about this so far is that people are peaceful they're respectful and that it seems to come from a place of love and, and uh, that's where you want to be can you explain oh yeah there's, 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 I'm giving you and they want to reduce all the power you have to nothing all right they want you guys to be like serfs and we're not serfs what's your opinion as to like what's going on in the hearts and minds of, of these folks as opposed to you know what their role is when you talk about the difference between the person and the role of the police here the average cop on the beat has been 
brainwashed to believe that they are fighting for their They're enforcing the law for the people. They're not. They're enforcing the law for the 1%. Almost all crime is white collar crime. The reason you have poor people committing crime is because of white collar crime. And how do you feel about what's going on here? I'm at Occupy. 100%. It's not being occupied by the citizens. It's being occupied by the police. This right is now this is. This is an occupied territory right now. The police are occupying this. And this is, isn't this what America is about? Being able to demonstrate? If we can't demonstrate here, what in the world did we become? You're the... Am I right in you're the first police officer that has uh, taken part in this? I haven't seen it anywhere else. I don't know. Captain Lewis, you were arrested, charged with disorderly conduct, including disrupting traffic and refusing to move on. Um, there was an image of you being arrested in your dress blues uh, down in front of the New York Stock Exchange that was uh, went kind of viral, and we were all in the office sort of marveling at it. There's some uh, footage of you being being arrested. Why did you, you're a retired police captain, you're served in Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. Why did you come down to Occupy Wall Street on Thursday? And I saw this action being taken by these protesters and the conditions they were living in and the fact that they were not doing this for themselves, they were doing this for all people who were suffering injustice. And that just, that conviction that they had for social justice just inspired me and I, I couldn't do anything else but come down. But what's motivating people to come to this movement is not that it's a police versus the people conflict, it is because of the values that are being represented here. The similarity of each human being on the face of this earth wanting from the heart not from the mind, not from the mind, but from the heart. This is something that Derrida has taught. If you feel that you've acquitted yourself honorably, then you're not so ethical. If you have a good conscience, then you're kind of worthless. Like if you think, oh, I gave this homeless person five bucks, I'm great, then you're irresponsible. The responsible being is one who thinks they've never been responsible enough. Why have I taken on a project that I feel like I've got the weight of the world on my shoulders? I didn't need to do that. I could have made some pretty pictures and some flashing lights. Digital media arts. It's all about the content. It's all about making something that's meaningful. I don't want to make something that's just pretty. I want to make something that matters. Like Ramtha says, your thoughts matter, literally. I want to turn my thoughts into literal matter, something in the world that's useful. Otherwise, what's the point?